ngayong, ngayong gabi ay ito na yung part 3 ng ating Persons as Embedded Beings discussion. So we'll focus on uh, pakikipagkapatao as a standard of goodness. Okay? Uh, so basically yung isang argument dito ay paano ba natin natututunan kung ano yung mabuti sa hindi nang pagpapatuloy pa rin yung conversation na yun. Um, and uh, what is the role no, of, uh, of values and specifically itong PKT. Okay. So, um, I think yung isang argument uh, kaya mahalaga tong usapin na to ay na a person is someone who behaves morally. No? Sabi nga ni Dr. Enriquez, one ceases to be human if one is not humane. Okay? Kaya, uh, Feel ko napaka-crucial noong usapin ng, ng pagiging humane sa, sa, sa personhood. Okay? So, just a quick question. Mayroon ba tayong kasama ngayon na hindi tao? Pero siguro baka yung mas mahirap na tanong ay lahat ba tayong nandito ngayon ay makatao? No? Uh, at ito yung susubukan natin i-explore. At, at, at hindi to madaling sabutin. Uh, pero siguro yung pakikipagkapwa-tao or yung kapwa theory ni Doc, it will give us an idea um, kung masasabi ba natin makatao tayo. Okay, so tatlong, tatlong points lang yung gusto kong i-emphasize um, tonight. No? Yung uh, summarized version naman of, of the readings ay uh, nabigay ko na sa inyo as a slide. No? So you can just review that. Um, so, so ito, ito yung gusto kong um, mapag-usapan natin ngayong gabi. Yung gusto ko lang talaga yung masusunod. Ano? Kasi bin, ito yung palagay ko ay mahalaga na mas mapalawig pa. Okay. So why do values matter? Again, in the context of understanding persons. Um, what is a culturally meaningful standard of goodness? And maybe we can just explore why it is difficult to be good. Or at least, why is it difficult to be good all the time? Kasi... Siguro, siguro um, madali naman, baka mas madali maging, madali naman maging mabuti. No? Pero yung to be consistently good, that might be the challenge. Okay. Sige. So, so just a quick recap. So last week, na-define na natin kung ano yung values. No? Tama ba? Sana wala naman tayong questions about that. Um, so again, just to recap, ito yung guiding principles in our lives. Um, na-define natin siya bilang mga beliefs. So, yung values actually very cognitive yung pagkaka-frame sa kanya or pagkaka-conceptualize sa kanya sa psychology. So, these are beliefs about desirable end states or behaviors. So, siguro yung, yung one way to summarize that would be these are the superordinate goals. No? Um, ito yung mga laging gusto natin no? ng mga, na mga uh, uh, end states. Uh, that transcends specific situations. So usually these values are applicable or are desirable, whether in the context of school, home, uh, governance, etc. Um, and, and again, we ask, how are we going to, to, to uh, translate values in Filipino? So baka, baka itong tatlo yung uh, pwedeng i-interchange. Mukahi lang naman. Okay. So puntahan na natin yung Una nating tanong, why do values matter? So kung kayo yung tatanungin ko, um, in the context of personhood, why do you think values matter? So kung yung tinutungtungan nga natin ay na uh, ang conceptualization natin, dapat kapag person ka, no, kapag tao ka ay um, mabuti ka. No? Or you're able to act morally. So in in you know in consideration of that, what do you think is the relationship of values and and um and and acting morally? So why do they matter? Um, so ito yung aking argument why uh, values actually mas magaganda yung mga sagot niyo sorry ni mo shadow ano ni mo shadow profound yung sagot ko okay um so persons are capable of acting morally that is that is the argument no? um and you our understanding of the world including what actions are good, is learned. So parang ang ina-argue dito ay pe- persons emerge to be to be good. No? Hindi sila pinanganak na, na mabuti na sila. No? So yung pagkakaunan natin sa mundo, kasama nga dyan yung what actions are good, natututunan natin siya. No? Um, and yung interesting, what we learn to prioritize, therefore what we consider to be good, ay resulta siya of years 
of collective problem solving, of, of human problems, or actually of group problems. And I think yan yung isang importante kung uh, sana nabasa natin yung, yung, uh, yung article ni Schwartz. No? Kasi nilalatag niya doon, bakit, bakit nga ba yung argument niya doon, bakit parang universal yung, yung values? Bakit parang halos lahat ng tao, kahit anong kultura, uh, yung content, the, the, the priorities may be different, but the content uh, is the same. So yung isang argument ay... Ha- Ah, dahil nga, di ba, ito yung natin, the age-old problem of people living with other people, therefore, they have to work as a group. And then yung problema of how to maximize the collective for the benefit of the self. No? Isa yan sa mga parang universal human problem. Uh, natutunan ng mga tao to negotiate uh, through particular guiding principles. What is a culturally meaningful standard of goodness? What is a culturally meaningful standard of goodness? So again, ang ina-assert natin dito na posible, iba-iba yung konteksto, iba-iba yung standard natin of goodness. Okay? So this is one of the hypotheses or actually theories about this one. Okay. So, um, ano ba? So sa Pilipinas, ano-ano yung mga pamantayan natin ng isang mabuting tao? No? Natanong din natin to natin last, last week, no? So what is our, our basis for saying that someone is a good person in our culture? Okay, so, well, for one, yung social unit is central to the survival of the individual. No? 1985 pa niya to pinosit, pero it, baka, ano pa rin, baka true pa rin to this day, no? um, that at least in the Philippines or in our context, um, may, may primacy over the collective for the individual to survive. Um, Thus, madalas tayo yung i-count as a collectivist country. Um, sabi din niya that to ensure relationships continue. Kasi, so kung ang argument ay, oh, importante yung mga relasyon sa mga tao. So ang, ang susunod tanong dun, eh papaano natin may ensure na magpapatuloy yung mga relasyon? So people, ha- di ba, simple, people involved have to behave properly. Okay? So dapat kung, I guess in any relationship, alam naman natin na para hindi kayo maghiwalay, eh, kailangan ay nakakasundo kayo sa pagkilos. So, there are reciprocal expectations in relationships. Okay? So, of course, maraming mga expectations sa, sa mga relasyon. So, eh, dahil, dahil corny yung klase natin, ang tatanungin natin, ano yung mga culturally expected, uh, what, are, what are these cultural expectations or culturally sanctioned expectations in our relationships? Okay? Um, so, ang isang sagot, mukhang dito sa konteksto natin, But this is a huge caveat, okay? So, sabihin ko muna. So, yung argument, ang mabuting tao ay mataas yung pagpapahalaga sa pakikipagkapwa-tao. Okay? Um, but again, no, we don't have to accept this hook, line, and sinker. Um, may mga ilang nag-attempt na pag-aralan yung endorsement ng pakikipagkapwa-tao. Um all over the Philippines, no? pero hindi pa siya, of course, definitive, and then hindi pa natin alam yung results. So, but if we buy into the theory, then this is uh, an answer. No? Kung ano yung isang expectation, yung expectation, dapat uh, may pagpapahalaga ka sa pakikipagkapwa-tao. So, ano yung important note here, no? um, na kaya ko pinabasa actually yung, yung sinulat ni Sir Jay, kasi sa kanya, dinifferentiate na niya yung paggamit ng kapwa dito nga sa PKT no kasi nakaka-confuse eh, yung structure no so um yung structure of the word so yung kapwa mas ina-associate na siya sa shared identity which i i, I argue as a type of self no yung yung ganung uh, emergent relational self as opposed sa PKT which is the value uh, along the lines of honesty humility at yung mga 10 big values ni Schwartz Okay, so ano yung desired end state? So kung naalala ninyo, di ba, yung isa sa mga uh, learning outcomes sana natin for this week ay kung, kung, value, kung, kung ang PKT ay isang value, ibig sabihin yung properties ng values nag apply sa PKT. So ayun sabi natin, isang mahalagang property ng value, values which differentiate them from each other ay iba-iba sila nung underlying motivation or desired end state. So, 
para sa pakikipagkapatao, ano kaya yung underlying end state mo? Or desired end state? Okay, so yung desired end state na nakita dun sa research ni Sir Jay, dalawa actually. And it, it, it's very interesting. So yung isa, people who highly endorse PKT often are motivated by harmony. Okay, ibig sabihin yung desired end state ay harmonious relationship. So, isang mundong, uh, yung mga relasyon na walang pag-aaway, no love, love, love. Pero interestingly, meron din, associated din yung PKT sa egalitarian treatment or egalitarianism. So, uh, pagkakapantay-pantay. No? So, there's harmony and there's pagkakapantay-pantay. Ito yung dalawang desired end states or underlying motivation. So, kung makikita natin dito, medyo may hint no? na... Um, hindi hindi porke no mataas yung endorsement mo ng PKT ay eh, lagit laging other oriented na okay kasi tandaan natin yung har- harmonious relationships eh kailangan dalawa kayong uh, d- d- dalawa kayo na nag uh, nagbe-benefit no and same is true with egalitarianism no uh, yung pagkakapantay pa tayo syempre hindi ka naman pwedeng maape doon sa relasyon okay so i think this is a very important point um So, ito na nga. So, does it follow that people who highly endorse PKT are other-oriented? So, mukhang yung hopefully ay nakocommunicate ko sa inyo ay hindi necessarily. Okay. So, maybe we can look at it this way. So, yung isang, yung isang uh, uh, madalas kong tanong sa mga tao ay so, magbigay tayo ng context para mas ma mas ma-ground natin tong framework that I'm, I'm sharing with you. So, m- meron bang meron bang humane way of breaking up with someone? So, kunwari, let's assume that um, you know, you're you're in a relationship, in a romantic relationship, and unfortunately, hindi siya work out, so kailangan makapaghiwalay. Pag-PKT ba? Kailangan puro iba, puro iba, puro iba, okay? Uh, gusto ko yung ganitong representation nung, nung theory ni Doc E kasi it's always presented as a table and yung tables for me parang they don't mean anything. Uh, hindi mo makita yung rela- relasyon nila sa bawat isa. So, for instance, if you endorse PKT, um, yung, uh, ang sinasabi ay, so, ibig sabihin nun, you pursue, yun kasi idea nung goal-oriented, di ba? Uh, pag mataas yung endorsement ng PKT, you pursue harmony and egalitarianism. Okay. So, pero yung interesting about the theory is that meron meron siyang meron si Doc na siningit na pivot value, no? The at ang ganda nung, nung term na pivot. Um although ano, atin atin lang to. A- ako I don't consider pakikiramdam na sa value. Uh, I see it more as an effective mechanism. Pero parang hindi tayo masyado ma-confuse. Uh mag-buy in na lang muna tayo dun sa dun sa dun sa paggamit niya ng concept. So, ang sinasabi niya, pag mataas yung pagpapahalaga mo ng PKT, most likely, ma-activate din yung pakikiramdam mo. Ibig sabihin, uh, i-guide ka ng heightened awareness and uh, sensitivity. Supposedly, para lumabas, mapalitaw yung PKT, parang dadaan mo na siya dun sa pakikiramdam. No? Tapos yung pakikiramdam will allow you to to check if you will uh, if you will accommodate or if you will um, uh, be more confrontative okay so so halimbawa um yung yung konteksto ay kasi ano talaga siya eh. ang, ang hirap sagutin no meron bang humane way baka yung cop out ay depende sa sitwasyon di ba so kunwari mataas yung PKT mo therefore marunong ka makiramdam so kunwari balak mo na makipag-break ngayon tapos sinabi niya sa iyo na parang um pumabagsak siya sa 210 niya ganyan or sa 212 niya parang hindi na ata niya wala na ma- ma- ano, matatagal na siya sa program kasi yung ano niya yung GWA niya hindi umabot ng 2 etc no? so pag binanggit niya yun sa iyo at ma-activate yung parang heightened awareness and sensitivity baka no baka yung mga ma-activate sa na values would be a little bit more accommodative no? mas mas other oriented mas sige parang yung yung pangailangan mo muna yung 
bibigyang pansin. So halimbawa yung yung idea ng hiya, ano yung hiya naman kasi dito is thinking about others before reacting. So baka isipin mo na hmm, siguro baka now is not a good time dahil sa pinagdadaanan niya, no? Or pwedeng ma-activate yung idea ng utang na loob. Um, na, eh, to be fair, meron naman tayong mga good times together, no? O kaya yung pakikisama, smooth interpersonal relationships, parang a lower level of of, of, of harmony. No? So, isang component ang harmony yung pakikisama. Pero halimbawa, kung yung konteksto na ginagalawan mo ay um, hihiwalayan ka, ay, bakit gusto mo na paghiwalay, no? gusto mo ng honest conversation, eto na, you're, you're ready, you're opening up your heart. Tapos makita mo nung nag ml gano'n, na mga legend, hindi ka nare-replyan, uh, biglang no, naglaho, no? So, I, I guess yung heightened awareness and sensitivity mo would sort of lead you to be a little bit more confrontative, no? Yung the idea that, so, ito yung mga ilang values associated with that, no? Yung, yung bahala na, um, na, so parang ginawa mo naman na lahat, so, you will take the risk, no? Kahit masakit, go ahead, makikipag-break, or yung lakas ng loob, no? To, to do something difficult or medyo mahirap lang yung pakikibaka kasi sa konteksto ng break up no, yung idea na paano ba yun parang tawagin mo yung mga kaibigan mo ganun, tapos magra-rally kayo sa labas tapos parang hiwalayin mo na yan ganun. or hayop siya can we? so pero <laughs> yun, yung, yun yung idea no? so, um, when we say that we highly endorse pakikipagkapataw it's not just about the other no? uh lalo na ito napaka-importante sorry ginagawa ko katatawan ng tong ano ni ni, ni Doc e, pero itong confrontative values niya kasi napakahalaga na sinama niya yan ang konteksto talaga niyan ay in the face of injustice which is probably one of the highest violations of pakikipagkapatao as a value uh, in the face of injustice so I guess pwede mga sabihin kung niloko ka ganyan or whatever um ito yung pwede mong i-activate na mga values. No? Um, so, hindi ka kailangan, hindi mo kailangan tanggapin, magpakamartir, no? maapi. Uh, pwede, kang, pwede kang lumaban. Kasi baka ang, ang na-activate nun, mas egalitarianism kaysa harmonious relationships. Okay? Hindi ko alam kung na-clarify <laughs> yung mga pinagsasubi ko dun sa point. Pero again, I just wanted to drive home that um, to be good does not mean to be other-oriented. Okay. So ngayon, yung interesting dito ay, uh, so suriin natin, no? people who highly endorse PKT, at least in the study, um, ang motivation sila, harmony, tsaka egalitarianism. So ang tanong ko, kasi di ba, nabanggit ni Schwartz, eh, na may mga goals that, that oppose, no? hindi sila compatible, like self-transcendence versus self-enhancement values. No? So hindi yan mag, mag, magtutugma. Um, so ang tanong, sa, sa palagay ninyo, yung pursuit ba of harmony is always consistent with the pursuit of egalitarianism. Can you think of scenarios where you um, you prioritize egalitarianism, no? fairness, pagkakapantay-pantay over harmony? Mayroon ba kayo yung naiisip na ganong scenario? Or, or actually the other way around, no? na mas na-prioritize mo yung harmonious relationships na para walang gulo over the idea of um, fairness and egalitarianism. Do you have some scenarios in mind? Just so we can see the complexity of PKT as a value. Uh, the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm bringing this up is because um, maganda lang, yun nga, maganda lang na inuwans yung usapin nga ng other-orientedness, self-orientedness. What does it mean to be a good person, no? Um, and I guess in an ideal world, it's the pursuit of both at the same time. Um, so if we're going to sort of diagram uh, in, in Kappa Theory, including last week's discussion on kag, uh, kagandahang loob, so parang ganito yung mangyayari. Yung sa taas na part, yung mas relational. No? So people who endorse PKT would probably activate pakikiramdam and therefore they will be in a good position to know whether to accommodate and be confrontative, no? But on the other end of the spectrum naman, yung mas societal, no, mas malakihang relasyon, um, na hindi kailangan interpersonal lagi. Kasi sa taas, parang interpersonal. Sa baba, mas intergroup. Um, the idea that, you know, pag, pag you endorse PKT, therefore one way to bring that out, kasi yung pakikiramdam tsaka kagandahang loob, parang sila yung parallel eh. Pareho silang parang pivotal values. Um, although yung KJL ang tawag niya, linking social personal, but in my head, they, 
the mechanism is the same. So para mapalabas yung P, kasi yung PKT nasa core, so para lumabas siya, um, na-manifest siya as endorsement of kagandahang loob, and therefore it allows you to endorse societal values like freedom, justice, and dignity. Meron akong dalawang questions dito. So what behaviors violate PKT and therefore considered bad? And then how do people who highly endorse PKT behave? So let me just give you some thoughts that are kind of uh, based on, on Dr. Enriquez's uh, original um, formulation. So, so I think generally, people who highly endorse PKT acknowledge the other as kapwa tao. So there is an acknowledgement that the other is uh, a fellow human being. Um, and therefore, the um, consequence nun, the acknowledgement that you are so kaya kaya importante feeling ko yung acknowledgement that fellow human being kasi that's very egalitarian right na pantay tayo kasi pareho tayong tao no? and therefore we treat the other as as kapwa tao kaya i guess um you know culturally hindi you know frowned upon to to kill someone no? dahil na frustrate ka ano malawa um uh, ba bakit pag may ipis, go, no, attack, patay, gano, may lamo, ano, pa ang dali, walang isip-isip, uh, hahatawin no, para ma matagi. Pero yung tao, kunwari, pag na-frustrate tayo sa kanya, kunwari, ano ba, hindi niya ginawa yung part niya sa integration activity, tapos ipinaligpit mo siya, diba, parang hindi siya, parang alam natin na, oh my God, that's like the ultimate violation of, of, of pakikipagkapatao. Kasi, ano yun eh, um, kung tatratuhin mo siya bilang kapatao, sabihin, gagalangin mo yung inherent dignity na meron siya as a human being. Okay? So, kung babalikan natin kanina, di ba, yung isang tanong natin, so ano ba yung mga cultural expectations, no? o yung mga relational expectations or obligations? Siguro ito yung ilan, no? associate with PKT. Um, yung pagkilala na kung ano yung makakabuti, o makakasama sa akin, ay makakabuti o makakasama sa iyo. Di ba, very ano to, very golden rule no kapag uh, you are familiar with the christian christian faith um or yung pagkilala at paggalang sa dangal at halaga ng bawat isa uh, kaya yung violation diyan is a big no 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 or confusion thank you thank you adi um yung pagtanaw ng utang na loob is probably associated with with pkt yung isa siyang isa siyang relational obligation um that might stem from PKT. At yung pagsasaalang-alang sa isipin ng iba bago ka kumilos, which is actually how we define hiya. No, yung hiya ay pagsasaalang-alang sa isipin ng iba bago kumilos. Um, yun. So, yung dalawang um, uh, accommodative values na binabanggit ni Doc e, can be uh, aligned with cultural expectations or reciprocal um, obligations in the Philippines. Okay. So, however, let me end with this. No, um, Well, I, I have a few more slides. I have 85 more. Which is, parang isipin mo, my God, yung mga Pilipino, wala kamali. Ah, no? Meron pa siya mga chika na... I'd, I'd just like to end with this. No? Kasi we're going to the idea of why is it so difficult to be good all the time. No? Um... So, itong, itong sinasabi ni, ni, ni Dr. Enriquez, parang in my head sometimes, lalo na pag binasa niya yung kanyang, uh, yung, yung mga seminal work niya, yung nasa From Colonial to Liberation Psychology, you know, the way he writes it, parang isipin mo, my God, yung mga Pilipino, walang kamali. Ah, no? Meron pa siya mga chika na wala daw racism in the Philippines, mga ganyan. So, parang, no? Um, needs na pag binabasa ko yung akda niya, parang, Parang nagbabasa ako ng fairy tales. <laughs> ah, kanyang ba talaga tayo makipag-relate with another? Is that how interpersonal relationships work in the Philippines? No? Na tipong pag, pag pumasok ka sa isang Zoom room, diba? tapos nakita mo yung mga nandun, una mong maisip, oh my God, I am in the presence of human beings. Na yun ba yung parang uh, automatic na nangyari na we acknowledge the humanity of someone and therefore we behave accordingly? Kasi ako, to be honest, yung <laughs> diba? Kaya ko, noong una, diba, tinanong ko kayo, noong umpisa ng klase, kung 
naniniwala ba kayo na lahat ng mga kasama natin sa klase ngayon ay mga tao? Kasi, uh, you know, it's a taken for granted reality and it doesn't always become the basis of behaving. No? So let me just, um, papahapyawan ko lang yung isang aspekto ng teorya ni Dr. Enriquez. Kasi ito yung mas marami ng evidence, more than the values. Yung values, wala masyadong nag-aaral. Pero ito, medyo mas marami na. Yung idea of categoriz- categorizing people in our relationships. No? Um, so, I think, uh, mas 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 malapit sa karanasan natin na when we when we look at people yung utak natin automatically categorizes them no parang it's just how that's our way of making the world neater um, and therefore uh, so isang categorization na binabanggit ni Doc EI lahat ng tao fall under kapwa so lahat sila they are the generalized other in my head that's how i translate kapwa eh. fellow human being no kung gusto mo, value, value laden. Pero kung gusto mo as a construct, para sa akin yung kapwa is the generalized other. Tapos yung generalized other, pwede pa yan na ibang tao at hindi ibang tao. Tapos ang interesting pa nga sa akin yung pagkaka-frame. Kasi ibang tao, parang yun yung default. Kasi yun yung negate mo eh. Yun yung sinabi mong may ibang tao, tapos merong hindi iba. No? Um, so anyway, yung IT and HIT, ito yung dalawang relationship categories. I call them categories, but the way they are construed, they are dimensions. So dimensional from most IT to most HIT. So it's kumbaga sa Likert, eh, it's a bipolar Likert, Likert scale. Okay. So ang tanong dyan, who counts as IT versus HIT? Ano yung features ng IT versus HIT relationships? No? And um, ito yung... Katulad nung value, ito rin yung isa sa hindi masyadong nilinaw ni Dr. Enriquez dun sa akda niya. No? Um, and in a, in a research that we did way, way back, yung HIT-IT distinction ay may five dimensions. No? Um, so yung mga tao na malapit yung loob natin, so closeness, gaang ng loob, yung positive affect no, to the other, pagkakatulad or similarity, tagal ng pagkakilala, length of association, the last number sama or the frequency of interaction. Ito yung nagse-separate. So the the idea is pag mataas ka sa lahat ng dimensions na yan, yan yung mga tao na kino-consider natin na hindi na iba sa atin. At pag mas mabababa, uh, IT. Tapos the reason why mas malaki yung font nung unang tatlo kasi dun sa research um parang sila yung mas predictors of the distinction. Uh, actually mas closeness. In fact, In fact, when people um, differentiate IT from HIT, yung, yung pinakamabilis na paraan nila to differentiate is to say, yung HIT ay yung mga tao naka-close ko. This is something that I posit based on uh, the, some, of the, uh, some of the research associated no, with IT-HIT, na parang mas mabuti tayo sa mga HIT sa atin. Therefore, pag ito yung uh, description of our relationships with people, parang mas mabuti tayo sa kanila. Um, it has something to do with, halimbawa, we, we, we found, um, may, mayroon kaming uh, nakita na tinawag namin na HIT bias. So, parang may halo effect yung mga hindi ibang tao sa, sa atin. And these are some instances. No? Um, so, in, in, in a study um, uh, that, that I conducted, pin, uh, Parang I, I was curious about what predicts good teaching. So this experiment was about good teaching. Um, so gumawa lang ako ng dalawang vignettes. No? Uh, yung isang vignette described an ibang tao prof versus a hindi ibang tao prof. No? Tapos dun sa, ra- sa rating ng mga estudyante, um, kahit na walang evidence of teaching strategy, no, the mere fact that in your head, HIT siya, tumataas yung source credibility niya or basically yung tingin mo na competent siya but also tumataas din yung idea na warmth yung yung na magaang yung loob mo sa kanya at na parang kaibigan mo siya no so HIT might be one basis for predicting competence um tas yung sa isang study din ni Sir J yung mga tao na tinuturing natin na HIT kahit na malala yung transgression nila sa atin mas mataas yung probability that we will maintain their relationship 
na hindi natin hihiwala yan. Basta HIT. No? Uh, yung mga experiment yung ginawa niya. So yung mga IT na relasyon, parang pag may transgression, out na sa buhay mo. Pero pag HIT, parang it's so much more difficult. Why do you think it's so difficult to be good? Or why do you think it's so difficult to be good all the time? Why do you think it's so difficult to be good? Or why do you think it's so difficult to be good all the time? In some reasons, uh, na backed up by data, I, um, you know, we may endorse a value but not necessarily act on it. Diba? Uh, as with what we discussed in the past, yung nabangit ni Rise about social class, no, or yung level of relationship, whether IT or HIT, they can override the power of values. So kahit na in-endorse mo siya, pero yung context mo, mas naging makapangyarihan yun. Um, iba yung magiging kilos mo, pwede hindi siya aligned with values. And feeling ko, ito rin yung attraction ko with social psychology. Na ang, ang powerful ng context um, sa maraming mga pagkakataon. Um, tapos yun, kung uh, pinag-usapan natin kanina yung tension ng kapwa, kung yun ba ay prioritizing harmony and egalitarianism, baka no, yung cultural view natin of morality might uh, emphasize yung pagiging more relational. So baka harmony. At as a consequence, so they emphasize yung justice or equality. Kasi in a scenario where hindi mo pwedeng i-endorse both, at pipili ka ng isa, at mas pipili mo maging relational, de, um, yun, yung aspekto ng justice or equality, hindi mo siya necessarily ma-uphold. Okay? So, sabi nga, madaling maging tao. Ito naman, I think, yung running thread in our class, diba? It's easier to be a human being. Pag pinanganak ka, human being ka na eh. Pero mas mahirap to emerge as someone humane. Or basically, it's easier to become a human being but more difficult to become a person. Especially if being a person entails the capability to act good. Okay? So in sum, uh, we talked about values as evaluation standards. No? Uh, we, we problematized one cultural basis of goodness, which is PKT and its possible emphasis on community and relationships. And that, you know, um, because we are embedded beings, hindi lang naman yung values natin yung magpe-predict ng kilos. No? Yung other forces in our context, they can influence um, the way we behave.